Welcome to my YouTube channel, Help, I'm a Catechist. Today we are going to talk about encouraging children to pray. Hi, I'm here. I'm Helena Signori, sitting at my dining room table and ready to share with you a simple craft activity that I did in the classroom that might be a good idea to have a student make and uh, then use it along with whatever statues you might have in your house or on their nightstand to remind them to pray. So I showed it to you in the opening. This little simple prayer bag is so fun to make and you can use it at all different times of the year or throughout the year but as a catechist you can introduce it at many different times of the year. So first of all it's very easy to make and cheap. That's what I really like because buying materials, getting them ready for the classroom activity, that can take a lot of time and uh, money that you maybe don't have. Paper bags from the dollar store, what could be better than that? And what I like about this is that this is the actual tracing of my hand and it could be the tracing of the child's hand. You could put a scripture reading on here. You could just have it be prayers or praying for people I love or whatever you want to say. If you do this in the classroom, let me show you how to make these. And then you could send home an instruction sheet to parents that just says, we encourage your child to write down who they want to pray for and put it inside of this bag. And then periodically take those names or situations out and read it out loud. Maybe read one a night at bedtime and put one in whenever they want. You could have them make a simple heart shape and that's so easy to do in the classroom, right? So you get a bunch of paper, you fold it and, and make a bunch of hearts of different sizes that they could then write down people at home that they want to pray for. Put this on your nightstand next to your State uh, saint statue, your patron saint, or your statue of Mary, or Saint Joseph, or Jesus. And you know what's nice about it is that it's just a visible reminder to put those hands together, and they're the child's own hands. So you can fill up this little opening with names, and they can pray. Another way you can use it is on the dining room table to remind everybody to pray. Maybe different members of the family could be putting prayer uh, requests in there. And then at the dinner table, you could pull out, okay, whose turn is it to put in a prayer or pull out a prayer. Maybe you could have a little dish with hearts available so that somebody could write down who they're praying for or a situation they're praying for, add it to the prayer. So it becomes a family tool too. So there's a lot of different ways to use it. And if you send it home with the kids, I would recommend you just give them a little instruction sheet with some ideas. Maybe send them with some hearts already pre-cut. You could even take dollar store index cards, cut them in half, and, you know, 100 index cards becomes 200 so easily. And then they've got little strips of paper with lines that they can quick write their prayer and put it in here. So it looks kind of cute and it holds up really well. So I actually have a little bit bigger hands than the kids do, but um, even when my second graders ended up with their hand being about that tall, as long as you only glue the fingertips together, you can still get in there and um, access the prayers that you're putting in there. Another good thing to do would be to use it at Lent and pray for 40 days for somebody or add 40 prayers to it. So there are a lot of different times of year that it works. Of course, we wanna pray every day. So when you get your paper bag and you're doing this with your students in your class or your homeschool family, um, what you wanna do is be aware of where the flap of the paper bag is. So I've started one just to kind of show you how to trace it. So you need to have the flap of the paper bag up and you need to place your wrist above that flap. And you know, if it's a, a child with a very tiny hand, you can place their hand up a little bit higher on the bag 
and then um, you're going to just be cutting up to it. The important thing to remember when you cut out these hands is don't cut this flap and don't cut all the way across the wrist. So you trace around the hand with the fingers closed. This is not a turkey for Thanksgiving, but it could be a prayer for Thanksgiving. Um, make sure the fingers are closed. And in class, I would sometimes have the students collaborate. So it's kind of hard to trace your own hand sometimes. So this is a perfect opportunity to show love to each other and have one student trace the hand of another student and then they return the favor. Then when you go to um, cut it out, you're going to, after you've traced up and around the closed fingers, you're going to cut in from the side above the flap, okay, if you can see that like that. Then go all the way up and around, and then you're gonna go back out the other side, which I am now going to finish off. Again, make sure you don't cut the flap because you need something for it to stand on. Now what happens when you finish it off is not a mistake, but it often will happen that you get <laughs> a turkey tail but it's not a turkey tail, it's just a leftover piece of the paper bag. So you get actually two turkey tails sometimes. So you've got your two hands now, you've got your open bag, you pop it open, and um, then, that's my dog. And then all you have to do is just trim those out. So trim those, glue the fingertips, just the top of the fingertips together, not the whole hand. Pop a little glue, stick glue right there. Press the fingertips together. And then you can, uh, even after it's cut out and glued, you can write your words, you know, your, your scripture reading or the word prayers on there. And you're good to go. So very simple, inexpensive, but a great fun reminder that we should be praying all the time. And a place to put your prayers. I know I have mine on a list on a piece of paper stuck in one of my prayer books, but I'm an adult. And so for kids, this is maybe more of a fun way to remind them to pray. God bless.